Nature, fascinating in its variety. However, plants, animals and human beings would not exist without enzymes. They are vital natural substances, proteins which occur in all organisms. There they control and accelerate biochemical reactions. Enzymes are thus biocatalysts originating from nature. But they don't only play an important role in the living organism. Many very ordinary things can no longer be imagined without enzymes. For example, baking bread. Enzymes in flour see to it that the dough actually rises and that the bread gets crispy. And an additional advantage for the consumer is enzymes keep bread fresh for longer. Enzymes are necessary also in the production of cheese and other milk products. They make the milk coagulate and influence the ripening process of all cheese types. Enzymes can also make certain products more digestible for the consumer. One example is people who cannot digest various milk products very well. For those people, special products exist to which enzymes are added. These enzymes support the digestion so that these people don't have to be deprived of milk and yogurt. And who would have thought that a good wine above all becomes so delicious through the work of different enzymes? They give the wine its colour and clarity and develop the aroma during the whole ripening process. By the way, enzymes also reduce the sulphur content in wine, important for enjoying wine without headaches later on. Also, beer brewers use the manifold capacities of enzymes, for example, to have better control over the brewing process and thus achieve a steady, high quality of the beer, important for those aware of calories and for car drivers. Only by the addition of certain enzymes is it possible at all to produce low-calorie or alcohol-free beer. But enzymes don't only improve the quality of numerous foodstuffs. They can do much more and are therefore also applied in completely different fields. For example, in washing powders. By adding enzymes to detergents, the laundry becomes clean at lower temperatures. The colour and fabric of the textile are preserved. Simultaneously, the washing processes at low temperature consume less electricity and thereby save a lot of energy. And that preserves our environment. Enzymes are also applied in the textile industry more and more. Jeans, for example, are treated with enzymes so that they appear stone-washed a procedure that preserves the fabric of the genes. Enzymes also prevent the formation of disturbing fluffs on pullovers, blouses and other clothing. But that's not all. In numerous production processes, enzymes are also considered as soft alternatives to the common aggressive chemicals. As for example in the production of leather, the biological helpers are more specific and faster than chemicals. Energy and raw materials can therefore be saved. Fewer byproducts are produced. These examples also illustrate how enzymes are contributing to the quality of our environment. Wherever one looks, there are enzymes working reliably. They initiate important processes and accelerate them, irrespective of whether they are used in food, textiles or other areas of our daily lives. We learn from nature how powerful and versatile enzymes are. The inside of a plant, the active centre of an enzyme. Here, for example, a substrate is split into two molecules. 
everywhere in the plant cell, innumerable and rapid biochemical reactions take place driven by enzymes. With the aid of computers, scientists today can learn more about these substances, which have an extremely complicated three-dimensional structure. However, the application of enzymes in the most diverse areas of life is not an invention of the high-tech era. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Egyptians and Sumerians used enzymes, without knowing, however, that they even existed. They discovered the fermentation process and used it for brewing, as well as for the production of bread and cheese. This hasn't changed over the centuries. These are pictures of cheese production as recently as the 60s. However, it was only around the turn of the century that it was discovered that enzymes are responsible for these processes. Since then, they've been applied to many other areas and use has been made of their immense versatility. However, for a long time it was hardly possible to produce large quantities of enzymes. Also, the processes were very difficult. The enzyme chymosin, for example, which is needed for the production of cheese, had to be obtained from the rennet of calves' stomachs. Nowadays, completely different methods are available for this. Using most modern biotechnological processes, it's possible to safely manufacture the most divergent enzymes in high quantities. That saves natural raw materials and energy, a contribution to preserve our environment. Gene technology plays an important part in this. With this method, it's possible to change microorganisms in such a way that they produce a particular enzyme. Many enzymes which we need and apply today could not otherwise be produced at all, or at least only with difficulty. The use of genetically modified microorganisms in the production of enzymes does not only have economic advantages, but also offers a more environmentally friendly production of these enzymes. Savings of energy as well as effluent and beer waste are enormous. Moreover, we obtain a high safety standard by using genetically modified organisms which are adapted from known, traditionally safe organisms. Safety plays an essential role, not only during the production, but also in the application of enzymes. Scientists, for example, have investigated the question of whether enzymes in foodstuffs could induce allergies. Enzymes which are consumed through foodstuffs play only a very, very small role, as I know from my clinical experience. The papers I have studied refer to only a few solitary cases. The fact is, there are hardly any substances that will not induce an allergic reaction somewhere in someone. In such a case, the problem normally lies with the patient and less in the substance itself. In our daily lives, enzymes can no longer be ignored. They are indispensable helpers, highly versatile, and they unseal for us the value of many substances in a natural way. They're biodegradable and so return to nature again.